Well, for one weekend, Parkville residents can set aside their fears about flooding and enjoy some good old blues music. But as Jake Peterson tells us, the River Jam Festival almost didn't happen. English Landing Park in Parkville should be full of musicians and people enjoying River Jam. But take a look. These are sandbags. They're all over the place. This is the main parking lot that should be full, but it's basically dead. Instead, all the people are here about a mile from the river next to City Hall. Behind all the music, art, and food are two women on a mission. Do you think they got that speaker fixed? Linda Arnold and Karen Montgomery started the River Jam 16 years ago. But this year they knew they had a challenge. Their normal venue was full of flooding equipment and sandbags. But that wasn't stopping these two. And we get her done in Parkville. <laughs> They're hoping residents will use the Music Fest as a way to put away their flooding fears. So they talked to business owners and found this open area near City Hall. Said everyone put down your work tonight, come down and let's have fun. So that's what we're doing. Eight Kansas City area musicians take the stage until 11 o'clock tomorrow night. The festival has gotten bigger with each year. Roger, you were fabulous. And this year shouldn't be any different. We had around 10,000 last year. We want to double it this year, don't you think? Yes. I think. Uh, we, I think it's for sure. everyone. Yeah, just need to get out and enjoy it. Yes. I think so. Enjoying a summer weekend because city leaders aren't sure how many dry weekends are left. The Army Corps of Engineers originally expected Parkville to start flooding this weekend, but they've now changed their prediction to next weekend. Reporting in Parkville, Jake Peterson, NBC Action News.